In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get your PS5 into safe mode. There's several reasons why you would wanna do that. If you get your PS5 in 4K resolution and your TV only does 1080p, like this TV over here, you would wanna get it into safe mode to change the resolution. Another reason you'd wanna get it into safe mode is if you wanna factory reset your PS5, if you have certain memory errors and you wanna wipe everything off the SSD on the PS5, you can do so using the safe mode menu and the options that I'm about to show you. There's several other options in the safe mode menu as well, which I'm gonna be showing you guys in this video today. This video is brought to you by the Fast Tech Pro Auto Kit, which is a toolkit you can use to disassemble not just your PS5, but also your PS4, your Apple MacBook, your Apple iPhone, and all other kinds of electronics. Links are gonna be in the description box. The first thing you'd wanna do is turn off your PS5 using the power button. preparing to turn off your PS5. So you're gonna hold the power button for a few seconds to turn it off like that. Then we're gonna press and hold the power button. It's gonna beep once. There's gonna be a second beep, which we're gonna hear in a few seconds. And now we're gonna let go of the power button. All right guys, tried my level best to get the 4K60 to record in safe mode, but it does not. So I'm gonna have to record the screen with my GoPro. Unfortunately, that's the only way we're gonna be able to do this video. Modern problems require modern solutions. At this point, we're gonna see this screen where it's gonna say connect the controller using a USB cable. So at this point, we're gonna press the PS button, which is this button right here in the middle. We're gonna press that button and then we're gonna see the safe mode menu, which is the screen that you see in front of you right now. The first option is restart PS5. That's a completely useless option because we can always do that with the power button or by pulling the cable. But in certain cases, if you don't have access to the PS5, like if it's hidden behind a wall or, or if it's some kind of a store installation where it's behind a case, this might actually be useful. The second option is to change video output. Now this option is very, very handy if you have a 1080p TV but you had it plugged into a 4K TV and now you're trying to plug it in, but you can't see anything on screen. That's most likely because the system is outputting at 2160p, which is a 4K resolution, which your TV does not support because it's 1080p. And at that point, you're gonna see a no signal on your TV or it's gonna be a black screen. So if you're having that kind of an issue, I would press here and then change resolution as well so the ps5 will restart after it's restarted it's gonna ask you for the video output setting the other option that you can also turn off in this menu is the change hdcp mode and for this you can set it to automatic to hdcp 1.4 only which i wonder if that's the issue that was causing it not to connect to my 4k 60s but we'll explore that option later, but I'm just showing you that that option is there. This is the more important option if you're stuck in a certain resolution, you wanna reset your resolution, you can do that with this option here. Going back to the safe mode menu, option number three is update system software. You can use this option to update your system software with a USB stick. You can download the system software update file from Sony's website. We'll also put a link in the description box for that. You download that system software, put it on a USB stick and plug it into your PS5 and install your system software that way. This is a very, very useful option in certain cases. If your system is stuck in an update loop, you might want to try downloading the update file from Sony's website, putting it on a USB file and make sure that you download the full update file and not the partial update file. So if we select option number three, it's gonna give us two options. The first option that I mentioned was from a USB stick. There's also the option from updating using internet, which is a lot easier to do than downloading from a USB stick. This is the one that you wanna try first. At this point, it's gonna find a system software update from the internet, and it's going to ask us if we wanna update it. And there is an update available as you can see here, but we're not gonna update this right now. I'm just here to show you the rest of the menu. We're gonna cancel this update. We're gonna go back. Option number four is restore default settings. 
This is gonna reset your system to the, all the settings, resolution, network settings to default values. So this is useful in certain cases where your issue is being caused by a setting that you modified on your system and now your system's not working properly. This option is useful in that scenario. So we're not gonna do this right now. We're gonna leave this. We're gonna go back. There's another option that says clear cache and rebuild database. So you press that and there's two options, clear system software cache and rebuild database. So the first option is gonna reset your system software cache, which is a small storage for certain files that certain applications use. So I've never actually seen anything be fixed with this option, but you're, you're free to try it if none of the other options work. But if you do a full reset, you don't have to do this. Rebuild database, this rebuilds the database of PS4 system storage files. This is not very useful when it comes to repairs, but it might optimize your storage and the way that your system runs in certain cases. We're gonna go back. Option number six is reset PS5. This is gonna basically reset your PS5, all of the system setting files, all of the user data will be deleted if you do this. So if you're selling your PS5, do this option. It's gonna reset your system back to how it was when it came out of the factory. I'm not gonna do this right now because I wanna show you the last option, which is reset PS5 and also reinstall system software. So it does a factory reset on your PS5. And for this, you're gonna need the, the PS5 update file that I mentioned on a USB drive, okay? You can also update it from Wi-Fi like I showed you in the other option. But for this option, we would need it to be on a USB file. I'm gonna press OK and show you what the next screen looks like. And it's gonna say there's no USB drive connected because we haven't connected a USB drive with the appropriate system files. Again, if you guys need the files, they're gonna be in the description box. You can download them. All you gotta do is format your USB to XFAT, then make a folder that says PS5 and put another folder in there that says update and put, your, put the update file in there, plug it in and it should be good to go. As you can see, the error code it's giving us on top, SU101596-2, that means I can't find the update file from USB. So we're gonna press OK. And I'm gonna show you guys the option that I believe is the most useful option here. If you're having any kinds of it, software related issues, at least on your PS5, this is gonna fix any software related issue or a setting related issue that you have on your system. But this will also remove everything that's on the system, including save games, any data that you have is gonna be gone. I don't have anything on this PS5 because this was a test system bought just to make videos with. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset it to show you guys what the reset process looks like because I do believe this is the most useful option for you guys here. So we're gonna press yes and it's resetting to factory defaults as you can see on the screen here. The screen went out, there's no signal but it's gonna come back on. Now we see the PlayStation menu. And as you can see, this was a very quick process because PS5s have SSDs in them along with the Xbox Series S and X. And these are very fast storage drives. And since there was really nothing on it, it cleared itself very, very quickly. So we can select English United States. It's asking us for the Wi-Fi password. Now it's asking us to adjust the display area. This is very standard stuff. It's asking us to insert a game disc. This is a PS5 disc edition. We're gonna continue without disc. Optimize experience for now. Nobody reads that. Confirm and continue. Nope, limited data only, man. I'm not giving you my data for free unless you pay me. So there's the main menu. So if you're having issues with the software, resetting it, the way I did is gonna fix most of your problems. 
So that's it guys, that's another video from Fast Tech. Don't forget to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. And check out my vlog channel in which I travel the world and I report my adventures. I promise you won't be disappointed. This is Shiroz from Fast Tech signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one.